sailed on lakes, bays. It's out in Bermuda, we had three fleets out in Bermuda, which is why it's an international class. It's up and down the East Coast, mostly New England, Mid-Atlantic, and out to Ohio. We have a international championship. We have a North American championship. Atlantic Coast Championship, which is this event for us. And we're and heading to Bermuda next year for our internationals. He started crewing when he was four, and I knew selfishly if I got him to skip for the boat, he'd probably stay with it longer, so I started crewing for him. And uh, he picked up the boat handling skills very early on, and that, that certainly helped his sailing career. The Comet is a, a very performance-based boat. All your sail controls come back to the skipper in most of the boats. The newer boats, a little less. But uh, so you have anything from your hiking straps to your centerboard to your Vang, Outhaul, Cunningham right back here. So you can tweak and adjust the boat on the fly. One of the big benefits of the Comet class is that as much as it is a one design, it's still an open engineered kind of boat where you can tweak and tinker and you have a big main kind of like a thistle so you got lots of power it's a really fun boat the new boats are a lot simpler they have the option to rig it up on the side like this but most of the new boats come basic almost like an fj or 420 for that purpose to try and help bring some of those kind of sailors back um, you know the, the booms are rigged with the out hauls rather than rigging down to the deck your cunningham still gets run back um, so you could adjust that rather than trying to have it on the mast. Unlike the 420s, the masts on a Comet or a Star, they're really thin and they're really flexible. If you get the boat just right, you can have no helm and you can just, yeah, you can let go of the rudder and just sail. It's great. Lift up the, the protector there. You can pin the mast back and forward. And these also have levers so that if you want to release the windward shroud on like a reach or downwind to help give you a little extra pop on the mast, you can. This was a wedding present, unbeknownst to my wife at the time, that uh, I spent a little bit more money than I told her. And here we are, we have a lot of new hardware, a lot of new lines, and then uh, I had my 30th birthday and I got a set of sails, thanks to my dad and mom. And, and so yes, yeah, so now she's a rolling machine and did some more work and- Still needs work all the time. Still needs work, they always need work. 